Well, hello, and I hope you're all doing well. So this week, what I wanted to do is take a look at the new Photoshop 2021, because there's a great new feature that I've discovered, and I want to show you how I use it and how it all works. Let's get into it. So this new feature that I've found is in the Neural Filters section. So what I'm using it for is to add fog to an image, and it's a really simple process. Now, you can use dehaze to do a similar thing, but the thing with dehaze is you, you almost have to paint it in where you want it, or there's more steps to be taken to get it more natural looking. With this, what it, is, what it does is it's actually called depth aware haze and what depth aware haze is doing is basically what is it, it's graduating the haze from front to back into the scene and into the image so what you can do with it is actually make it look like fog and it looks fantastic so what i'm going to do now is show you how it works let's jump in so let's get into it so we're inside lightroom at the minute and what you would do is click on the image that you're working on and go to edit in and edit in Adobe Photoshop 2021 so what you would do is is this is an absolutely fantastic little filter that I found and it's in the latest version so you go up to filter in fact before you get to that step what I would do is I would go to background and I would duplicate the layer and I would call it fog and pop that in there so now what I would do is on that layer is go up to filter and it's in the new menu which is called neural filters click on that and it'll bring up this dialog box here now you don't want either of these two here there's a little beta filters button here if you click on that and there's a whole host of different filters now what you might have to do is actually download them because each one you have to download to be able to use them um, I've downloaded them all already but there's one called depth aware haze and what it tells you is depth aware haze adds environmental haze around the subject and adjusts the warmth of its surroundings now what I find is what this tends to do is it, it basically it makes the fog or the haze or whatever you would like to call it almost blend in from front to back so the further you get back into the scene it actually gets a lot heavier so it makes quite a natural looking image so I'll just click to put that on now and what it does is it'll work on the cloud and it'll apply the filter and there you go now already you can see it's applied quite a lot there now you can reduce the amount if you wanted less you can bring it down but you have to give it time to go back to the cloud and there you go it puts less into the frame now what you can also do is you can either increase the warmth of the fog up to there and again it'll just take a little while as you can see it's it's given the nice warm tone to it now or what I would tend to do is reduce and go negative so that it makes the fog actually more of a colder colder colour more natural looking and there you go so once you've done that what what I would tend to do is go to down to the bottom here and click on um, save to current layer so when you apply this filter and click OK it'll actually apply it to the current layer that you're working on click OK and there you go it's where the fog is now so I can get rid of that and there it's added fog and you can see what it's done it's actually adding the fog back further back in the image and leaving the front of the image not quite as effective and I think that's really quite nice now you can adjust that and play with it however you like 
and what I I was looking at doing is you can go into it after the effect and you could add a layer mask Let's click new mask down here and take a black paint brush and you could actually go in and reduce or take out the fog that you don't want so if I went in here I could start painting out some of the effects of that fog and you can just see it's just taking it off the tree there as I paint over it it's just taking a little bit more there now I've got my opacity set to about 8% so it's not taking very much off but if I if I adjust that now and put the opacity up to a 50% so you can see what it's actually doing there you go you can take that effect right out and play with it and get a really sort of natural looking image as to how you like it now you could use this to add fog to an image that doesn't have any whatsoever but what I would tend to do is actually use it to enhance images that already have some natural conditions in them and just need that extra well I hope this video has been really helpful to you and it's kind of an interesting new feature on uh, Photoshop 2021 and if you've liked this content and want to see more please consider subscribing. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.